Hey guys, Danny here at Partey. So uh, apologies it took me so long. I know a number of you have reached out to me asking me what the deal was with Crow's Insults lobbed over at the channel. Um, I was pretty pissed off the first day and a half. Uh, I think primarily just because I was disappointed that somebody that I'd supported would actually do that. But I think it's as simple as this, guys. I'm not going to play coy here. Uh, do I know why? I think so. I think it's because he got his feelings hurt in that review and comparison. I think this is just some way for him to try to put some some distance between he and I, and that's fine, you know. But you didn't really have to do it that way, brother. You know that that was kind of a cheap shot, and the cheap shots where he was going on about how, in his opinion, he doesn't believe that there's anything as a uh, mix that's going to be ALR, right? So, and I get that, okay, so you have your opinion, but it wasn't just his opinion. It was the way that he put his opinion out there. He was, he was trying to be all forceful about it. But at the end of the day, buddy, um, unfortunately, and I hate to say this, but unfortunately, you're going to have egg on your face because we're going to show you exactly why what we create uh, actually does provide ALR. We even know to what percentage. Roughly, it's between, you know, conservative value, about 40 to 42%. Uh, but you're right, no paint mix is ever going to do that for you. Uh, and then the second thing was really a more trite, kind of trivial one, and that was, he was, you know, kind of criticizing the fact that we use uh, intros and exit music, you know, for the videos. He was saying, you don't do that bullshit. Um, and, you know, listen, I'm not here to try to throw offenses back. I'm not going to do that. I'm just addressing what actually happened. So here's my feelings on that. I don't know why it matters to you. I don't know why you feel the need to say stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, brother, there's plenty of criticisms that could be hashed at yours as well. Uh, but I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I was supportive of you. Will not be as we move forward. I will stand true to the statements that I've said in the past that a good paint mix... And I'm not going to knock on your products or anything, dude. But, you know, a good paint mix will serve you well in low to moderately low light environment. But, you know, then after that, they give up the ghost, dude. It's just not going to work. And there's scientific reasons behind it. And I know it, it, it I, I just really don't understand. It's the third paint mixer in a row that has come at me with, you know, all that Lambert and science bullshit, right? I don't, I don't get all that because for me... I do focus on being a professional. I do focus on knowing my trade, knowing how the, all the screens out there, any screen that's made, there's only a, a certain number of types of screens out there, man. And I like knowing how all of them work. The fact that you don't know how they work, you know, if that bothers you, if it, if it ruffles your feather that somebody does and you don't, then take the time to damn do the research and know your trade. And that, that's not as an insult. I'm just saying to anybody out there, you know, if you're going to be a mechanic, you need to know cars, right? You just can't go, I don't know, all that suspension torque bullshit. You just, you can't do that, right? I mean, you got to know your business. So that's what we focus on, and that's what we discuss. This channel is not about Danny. It never was never intended to be about Danny. It's not about my ego, Okay, and anybody who would question the ego thing, I'm going to cite an example. There was a, a time here a while back whenever Crow was running a video <clears throat> where he was discussing how much of an impact he's had on Kenneth Bird's sales. And I think, it, and if I'm wrong here, Rachel, I'm sorry, but I think it was Rachel Hen that kind of jumped in and said, uh, you know, Partey had participated or been a part of that as well. And boy, you could tell it just it visually just bothered him. You know, he actually kind of stuttered through a little bit. So, yeah, there's an ego thing there. But that's fine. I mean, dude, if that's your channel's focus, that's your channel's focus. But it's not ours. Ours is about information, true, factual, scientific information about the screens and about our products and where they set in that lineup. Because parte, we know who we are. Okay, we don't kid ourselves. We're a bridge between paint mixes and expensive manufactured screens. That's where we sit. It's where we always sought the seat. And that's where we'll be as we move forward. Now, once we get the capability for microstructures, that'll be a game changer. But for right now, that's the next game changer in our strategy. And 
you know, who knows? It may take us two years to get there. I don't know. But for whatever time it takes us to get there, that's what we're going to be focused on. But, you know, I'd also offer up something else. You know, speaking of Ken, you know, he, he constantly told you guys that he had never received that letter from Ken. But that wasn't true. See, he received that cease and desist letter from Ken, reached out to me. I can't remember now if it was a Saturday or Sunday, but reached out to me all scared because he didn't know what he was going to end up facing or if he was going to have to go to court, if he was going to have to get a lawyer. So I take time out of my life, take time out of my attorney's life, okay? And it, thankfully, he didn't charge me for that. We're not like best buds, hangout buds or nothing like that, but we, we've known each other for a while. So, you know, thankfully he didn't charge me for that, but I take that time out to give you and your family, your wife, some comfort over the weekend, whether you may not have even told her you had the letter, but in either case, I take time to help you. And this is how you pay me back. But once again, I'm not going to throw out insults. I'm not going to, to try to cut your legs out from underneath you or anything. Here's my statement. We're preparing to compete, brother. You better be doing the same. All right? So you might have stuck a little knife in my back, but I wasn't completely shocked. I've had mutual subscribers over the years. There's one primary guy. He's not really out here anymore. But I had about six or seven different people that reached out. But this guy, you know, made it a point. And, you know, when you hear stuff, and I'll tell you what it is. But anyway, when you hear stuff from people, a lot of times you just kind of take it with a grain of salt because you realize that maybe they had a personality conflict with that person or something. But I found that these statements were very true. And they came out and told me, he said, Danny, be careful. Anytime that he feels threatened, he's going to lash out. He's going to take a cheap shot. Funny thing is, and the irony is, is that Ken said the same thing about you, and you've just shown it to be true. So, you know, you might have hurt my widow feelings for a day, but we're cool. Because ultimately, I knew it was going to happen. It was just a matter of when. I figured, it, I think what shocked me was just the timing. I figured it'd be a little later once we come out and start actually pushing sales. But that's fine. You know, whatever you need to do to make yourself feel better. But at the end of the day, I'm here to compete, buddy. Let's go. I'm here to compete because I know more today than I knew yesterday. And I'll know more tomorrow than I know today. All right. And one thing that I've learned is that whether it's Kenneth Bird or Crow, birds of a feather flock together. You guys take care. We'll talk soon. Bye.